My name is Joroge Nani Mungai. I'm a commercial lawyer uh, and a partner at MMC Africa. I've been in practice for 25 years. Our first uh, encounter with peak performance uh, was more largely out of curiosity. Um, I think, if I recall correctly, we were the first group um, to try out the program. Uh, the subsequent two sessions was because of the benefits that we had seen from uh, from, from, from the program. Um, and, and so we chose peak performance because we saw that it does have uh, a significant impact on people, their attitudes, as well as, uh, as, well as teams. We were a, a fairly small farm, uh, and we would probably, I would probably say we were at the beginning uh, of, 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 our, of, of building our business. It was a small business, um, and, and which has grown uh, significantly since then. I think the, the most impactful thing, the, the thing that stands out most, uh, was the way the program uh, enables you to appreciate some of the limiting factors uh, and enables you um, to break away from, from those limiting factors. And uh, by limiting factors, I'm talking about attitudes and fear. Uh, when we did the, the program at Brackenhurst, um, I remember that on day two, uh, we were told we were going to walk on fire, and, and you know, what do you mean, walk on fire? It, was, it, was, uh, it sounded a bit crazy that we were going to walk on fire. Um, and so we had the entire program, and when the fire was lit, uh, and we were asked to, I, I stepped up and decided I was going to be the, the first one to, uh, to walk. Um, and there's something about the program that over time, uh, during the two days, uh, sort of prepares you uh, and enables you to start seeing life differently. Um, so for me, that walk on fire uh, by myself and my team uh, was one of the things that really stood out. Um, it stood out because as a physical fit, it seemed impossible, but I think it's more the the, the, I would say the metaphor behind the walking on fire that was even more important because if you can walk on fire, what can't you do, really? What, what can't you do? Uh, and it's that ability for the program to enable you to see your potential uh, and how you limit yourself. So that's one. I think the other important uh, factors uh, are two. One is goal setting. Um, you know, you, the ability to be able to set goals with clarity and to follow through on them. Uh, and, and lastly, um, uh, teamwork. Um, there's quite a lot of um, activities uh, around trust building and team building. Uh, so I think those three would be the things that, that stood out for me. We have grown to a much bigger farm than I think we would even have this, uh, imagined then. So I, I think for us, it wasn't just um, seeing the possibility, uh, but actually living it, because the next couple of years were informed largely by the principles and the ethos that we, we picked up from there. Uh, and that is why, as a farm, we've gone back um, um, twice uh, again for that program, um, because we saw value. Uh, in, in, in the program. This is a, a program that's very useful for organizations. So organizations bring together uh, different people with different attitudes, different behaviors, different uh, experiences. Uh, and it will be useful in helping to create a, a common culture uh, or which is positive, which is uh, um, fearless, and, and which is focused. So the, the program um, uh, has a very direct impact on performance. Um, you, you immediately after the program, um, you would see that um, people are a lot more focused on their 
outcomes uh, and their performance, and you see it also in the organization. And it's something that we've been able to see uh, consistently through. So uh, it definitely has a, a, an impact on, on, on one's performance. My advice to individuals, to institutions, is that um, it's important to invest uh, in, 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 in the culture, in, in the training of your people, uh, and in ensuring that you nurture uh, a performance-driven culture. Um, and, and this requires you to... Uh, the programs like this would be, of course, useful. But I think, generally, the recognition that culture defines uh, the success of an organization much more than uh, anything else. So it's important that uh, each organization is able to interrogate itself and, and ask, who are you? you know, and, and why are you there? And what, it is, what is it that you're trying to, to, to achieve?